Right, hi everyone. Um, here we have a uh, very nice a 2014 110 XS station wagon. Uh, it's finished in chorus grey with um, black sawtooth wheels, brand new 265 section uh, rubber, general grabber, 82s, fantastic tyres, uh, black grills and stainless bolts, etc. throughout. Um, it's a two, sorry, two previous owner car. So last owner had it from 2016. Uh, it was a demo car in 2014 for a couple of months. So it was demo uh, plus two private owners. Um, lovely, lovely thing. Has been really well looked after. It's been sort of under sealed from new and the paint is just extraordinary. Um, these landies do pick up dents and scratches but this is just lovely really really nice and there's some yeah very subtle little bits and bobs on it that's make it a bit more usable day to day we've just done a nice big service on the vehicle and changed various items uh one of those being the master cylinder on the clutch that can um that can wear out uh and cause the clutch to feel a little sticky so we just put a brand new master cylinder on the clutch is now absolutely spot on the clutch itself is perfect we, we, we checked that, that all out so let's um start at the front end and work our way around the vehicle to show you a few bits and bobs that we've done to it in order to bring it up to our sort of usual standard uh, and hopefully give you an idea of the vehicle uh, remotely so you, you, you can be confident in the car uh, that you're looking at um it came as standard at uh, chorus gray came with the xs um grills and, and light surrounds and, and and lettering they come in brunel gray which basically is the same color uh, as the paintwork so we switch the grills and the light surrounds and the letters to gloss black these are genuine land rover items i know the four the, the, the three screw ones which came from 2014 onwards that extra screw in there uh, and they get painted on our body shop and as you can see all are fixed with stainless fixings um we replace the lower ac grill down here and um, in in black powder coated uh stainless steel and we also uh, change the screws in there it's just little bits like that make such a difference um window blocks are changed they always corrode they've been changed and painted there alloy ones now so you'll never get any further corrosion uh wing mirror arms have been changed stainless bolts throughout you can see there it's got little mud spats here as well which are really nice um so it just stops any if you just come around this angle you can see the tire sticks out a little bit that stops the spatter coming out of the bodywork really nice little touch that side steps are all good wheels are fantastic um genuine sawtooths uh, it had um what tires were on it i can't quite remember which ones were on it uh wasn't a mad fan of them so we've put these general grabber 82s on and they are 265 75 16 so they're slightly fatter than standard in, in in that measurement there so it gives the vehicle a bit of a sort of chunkier look on the road but most importantly they are super quiet and very very grippy they're not too off-road focus they're really sort of 90 percent on road um, but they've also got nice deep sort of tread in order to assist with any off-roading that might happen um, and you can see there it's got the Gwyn lewis um protector in the back there so mud doesn't get flung up onto your rear cross member and it's got Gwyn lewis removable uh rear mud flap brackets we haven't got round to i'm sorry painting the rear cross member yet but as you can see it's an amazing nick we will strip it back and we will repaint it and we will replace these bolts with stainless but it's just actually nice to see it, this is this is how it came it's it's lovely we've we, we've done the bolts um which you can see there but the cross member is in perfect nick but we'll we, we will replace it um sorry i say replace it repaint it because it's just something that we always do um, being a station wagon, it's got two rows of seats, they fold away like so. Please um, excuse the lack of um, cover there, uh, it's missing, um, brand new ones coming from Land Rover. Um, so you can see that folds away, gives you plenty of storage space, and those middle row seats fold away as well. 
Uh, just quickly have a look up here. It's also got the suede Alcantara uh, roof lining, which really is very, very smart. I'll quickly show you inside. So being an excess, it's got half leather seats. They're heated. Um, there's a little handle there that was also on back order from Land Rover. That should be here shortly. Um, and you'll also note um, on this seat, the driver's seat, it's got one, two, three flutes uh, in the seat, whereas the passenger one has got more. That passenger seat is from a pre... The passenger seat cushion is from a pre-2000 and... Oh, 12, I think it was. They had many more flutes. We've got a brand new cover. Again, it's coming. Um, parts deliveries are a bit tough. Don't let that put you off. We're, it's going to all look exactly perfect. Um, but it's just um, parts are a struggle at the moment. Um, but that'll all be back to normal. You probably wouldn't have noticed that, but it's little bits like that that hopefully stand us uh, apart. Uh, so you can see here, heated front seats and AC, adjustable headlights. This is your sort of climate control section as well. Stereo here with Bluetooth, which, um, sorry, the sun's right in your face, isn't it? Uh, connects to the microphone here, and you can also stream music. And it's got 48,743 miles. That will go up because I like to use these things and iron out any niggles that we can find. So that'll go up. Might have another 100, 100 150 miles on the clock. So there you go, another view. Sorry, just looking this way. So you're not getting the sun in your eyes. You can see the dash and everything is really, really nice. They, they normally get some horrible cracks on these these bits here. But this, this seems really nice and really sort of unscuffed. And you can see the door card as well is in really, really good nick. Lovely, lo lovely thing. And, and it just drives so tightly. Standard cubby box there. And here are the rear, rear seats. Again, in super nick. No rips, no tears, no nasty smells. Uh, just a lovely, lovely Landy. So, uh, in short, a 2014 vehicle. As you can see from the reg, uh, it was based in Northern Ireland. Don't, don't worry about that. It's uh, it's you know, the same logbooks, etc., etc. Just a slightly different looking reg number. Actually, looks like a a private reg, which is quite smart. So, 2014 car, 47 and a bit thousand miles. Um, a demo plus two previous owners really good service history and we've just done a nice big service on it too including uh, axle oils and uh, transfer box oils uh, and changing clutch master cylinder because they they do wear out and it can create difficulty make driving them smoothly but this now drives really really smoothly and there's no no sticking point no resistance on the clutch lots of other bits and pieces including all the stainless bolts uh, we'll top up the under seal where needed uh, we're, we're going to steam clean the whole chassis it is under sealed as we speak Rear cross member will be done. We've done the black uh, front end, which I think you'll agree looks really smart. But yeah, uh, really, really nice thing. And I know I say this about all of them. This one does drive really nicely. I think some of it's down to these tyres. They're, they're fantastic. We normally fit BF Goodrich 265 all-terrains, but you can't buy them at the moment. No, there is no supply of BF Goodrich uh, in the country that I can find anyway. And these general grabbers, I have to say, perform, I think, slightly better. Um, so really, really pleased with them. Please um, come and have a test drive. Give us a call. Any questions? We do part exchange. It comes with a six-month warranty. We can do finance. Give us a call. Come and have a drive. Thank you. Bye-bye.